today in this video it will be a very short video i have taken the topic fraud because detection and prevention of frauds is one of the most important objectives of auditing so what is fraud first question is what is fraud actually in very smaller classes i learned one definition of fraud and that definition i still remember the definition of fraud is convincing a person to believe a particular fact to be true which in fact is not true convincing a person to believe a particular fact to be true which in fact is not true got it that is fraud and you can say fraud is willful misrepresentation of transactions fraud is intentional misrepresentation of transactions this is a fraud and there are three types of frauds number 1 misappropriation of cash number 2 misappropriation of goods and number 3 manipulation of accounts misappropriation of cash first one this is very common method of misappropriation of cash by the dishonest employees by giving false representation of books and accounts intentionally many people commit this thing say cash is the most dangerous item cash is um, cash is stolen and cash is misappropriated very easily in order to detect and prevent misappropriation the auditor should verify the system of internal check i'll take internal check in the next video in operation internal check system internal control system whether these things are there or not if these things are they are whether these things are effective or not then this auditor has to find it if these things are effective internal control system internal check system then misappropriation of cash can be avoided or minimized then cash how cash is misappropriated listen how cash is misappropriated cash is misappropriated by the following ways number 1 by omitting to enter cash which is received you have received cash but not giving entry in the books of account then you have received cash some amount but writing in the books of account a smaller amount you have received 10000 you are writing 7000 this cash is misappropriated then cash a uh, fictitious payment you have written some entry given some entry in the payment side um, and showing that payment is made money is paid but these are fictitious means not actual you have not paid the money but you have written that you have paid and you have given false voucher so that is that way cash is misappropriated and you have uh, paid a particular amount but you have shown more amount is paid then there is teaming and leading teaming and leading is also a, a type of misappropriation of cash it is teaming and leading means suppose the accountant is received 10000 rupees from ram he is not giving entry to ram then he misappropriates 10000 then he received 10000 from again sham then he gives the entry in the name of ram and sham is remains uncredited then he receives 10000 from hari and writes in the name of sham and hari is uncredited then again another person give money then he will write in the name of hari so this way the first 10000 is originally misappropriated by the person in charge of the cash by the accountant or cashier and he can misappropriate this money for a long time ultimately he will make up so this is teaming and leading this is also a method of misappropriation of cash then misappropriation of goods frauds in case of goods uh, are known as misappropriation of goods goods are misappropriated how goods are misappropriated remember less bulky and more value these goods are mostly misappropriated goods which are uh, less bulky and more value i told wrong no less bulky and more value suppose diamond is less this much only value but um, the goods which are less value but more bulky this goods are generally not misappropriated not much but those goods which are less uh, less bulky but more costly more valuable mostly these goods are misappropriated how goods are misappropriated 
by showing less amount of purchase than actual purchase made. You have purchased goods of 1 lakh but you are recording 90,000, you are misappropriating 10,000 of goods. Then showing issue of material more than actual uh, issue. Suppose you have issued raw material to factory of rupees 1 lakh but you are um, you are showing that you have issued suppose 1 lakh 10,000. You are recording 1 lakh 10,000 and 10,000 goods you are misappropriating. Then by showing fictitious entries in the books of account. By showing fictitious entries in the books of account. And then by detection of misappropriation of goods is difficult task by the auditor. Very difficult task. Only through efficient system of inventory control and periodical stock verification and internal check system adequate security arrangement and scope for fraud on can be eliminated. So this way fraud can be eliminated by efficient internal control system, by efficient uh, inventory control system, by internal check system, goods misappropriation can be avoided. The auditor has to thoroughly scrutinize the inward and outward registers of invoices, sale, mem sale, cash, sale memos, then audit notes, in invoices or it has to verify those things to find out misappropriation of goods but it is very difficult to find out misappropriation of goods and next manipulation of accounts this is a this is a dangerous fraud this is very common practice among the every organization dishonest employees have intention to intentionally they misappropriate manipulate the accounts in their own favor and then they misappropriate the ultimate accounts and, and organization is that way organization is loser. What are the causes of misappropriation of account? I am just telling in brief what are the why accounts are misappropriated. There are different reasons of misappropriation. Number one to get more commission calculated on profit. Suppose manager he is misappropriated account and showing more profit. Suppose he gets a certain percentage of profit as his commission. So he misappropriates the account and showing more profit. So his per percentage of commission will be more. There too he misappropriates. Then if, uh, for evasion of income tax and sales tax. And sometimes some companies they show less profit intentionally by manipulating so that they have to pay less income tax. And they show less sales. So then they have to pay less sales tax or GST whatever maybe. Then to get huge loan from financial institutions. Sometimes may accounts are misappropriated in such a way that uh, this uh, very good picture is given in the balance sheet and financial institutions in that case will give you loan. So this will be misappropriated. Then to declare more dividend to shareholders. By misappropriation of accounts, the managers are showing or directors are showing more profit. So if there's more profit, there'll be more dividend. So shareholders will be getting more dividend. Even they may be shareholders, they are having shares, they will be getting more profit. Then showing more profit to get confidence of the shareholders. This is also misappropriation. They show more profit, more profit uh, so that uh, shareholders will be feeling that company is very good. And then secret reserve. Sometimes profit is shown less. Profit is shown less and that way um, less than what is actual practice. You are showing less profit. That is, you are creating secret reserve. And there are, you remember there are two things. One is secret reserve, one is window dressing. Uh, if you show the position uh, worse than what is actually secret reserve. And when you are showing position better than what it is, it is window dressing. And both are misappropriation of accounts. Then uh, ways of misappropriation of accounts. How it is done? by showing more or less of fixed asset, by showing overvaluation of undervaluation of stock, by over or undervaluation of liabilities, creation of over or under provision of depreciation, charging capital expenditure to revenue and vice versa, making more or less provision for bad debts and outstanding liabilities, by showing advance income or expenditure on the current year only. So these are this way accounts are misappropriated. Why accounts are misappropriated? Objectives of misappropriation. Why they do it? There are two objectives of mainly misappropriation. 
objectives of misappropriation i told you just now i told you there are two things one is secret reserve other is window dressing window dressing means in window dressing accounts are manipulated in such a manner to reveal much better and sound financial position in the business this is window dressing what you are having you are showing better so it is misappropriation so misappropriation of accounts manipulation of accounts so why people are doing this why the management or whatever may be doing this to attract the outsiders to attract the investment to show the company's position better this is window dressing and another thing is secret treasure accounts are prepared in such a manner that disclose a worse position than what is real so they also do this secret treasure to show worse position for different purposes they are showing it so this way accounts are misappropriated so you remember that uh, frauds are actually of three types one how number one misappropriation of cash and number two misappropriation of goods and number three manipulation of accounts for different purposes they do it in different ways they do it and these are the frauds and auditors duty will be to detect this frauds and auditors duty will also be to prevent the fraud how auditor can prevent the fraud by ensuring that proper internal control system is there proper um, internal check system is there overall control system is good so they will ensure these things if these things are there then misappropriation of cash manipulation of accounts misappropriation of boost will be minimized force will be minimized so thank you very much you learned about force there may be question what is fraud and what are the different types of frauds what are the purposes of frauds why people commit frauds and how frauds can be minimized and checked and detected and how what are the objectives of fraud this way you can learn from the book also i have given a very brief idea about it but you go by the book also and you can learn what is fraud and what are the three types of fraud and thank you very much so study nicely this was a very small video and hope you use the time effectively fruitfully during this lockdown period and you help yourself thank you very much